hello, my name is Andy Tidy and welcome to the Narrowboat Video Channel. If this is your first time with us, welcome aboard. Each month we highlight a selection of archive inland waterways films which we've identified during our research. And the links to the full videos can be found on the Narrowboat magazine's website. I've added a link to the description field below which will help you get there, but alternatively you can simply search for Narrowboat magazine and then select the videos tab in the red banner at the top. My first selection is a 31 minute colour documentary made in 1962, following the tugboat Primrose as it moves imports up the Severn estuary from Avonmouth to Gloucester and then on to Worcester. Considering this film was made in my lifetime, just, the film reveals a very different world to the one we know today. One where containers are still a thing of the future and individual sacks were still wheeled around by a small army of dockers. And now Primrose is through the lock gates. She heads out up the Bristol Channel, towing a string of barges laden with aluminium, zinc, timber and dried fruit. This film was made to show the activities of the British Transport Commission along the River Severn. In retrospect, it was a last pitch for the inland waterways being used as a viable third alternative method of commercial carrying, with narrowboats thrown into the mix almost as an afterthought. Well, for my second selection, I'd like to introduce you to a video called Black Country History at Home. The next six minute video continues where the last one left off, in the industrial heartlands of the Black Country, to the north of Birmingham. This is an exceptionally well-assembled collage of old Pathé news film and archive still images which provides an engaging overview of the rise and decline of the narrow canals in the Midlands. It was a roaring success and quickly contributed to the price of coal dropping by half. Needless to say, the construction of canals exploded, with 170 miles of canals crisscrossing all over Birmingham and the Black Country at its height. This dizzying array of canals became referred to as the Birmingham Canal Navigation, or the BCN, a confusing name to the uninitiated, as a large part of the canal network it refers to actually runs deep into the heart of the Black Country. This film was made quite recently by the Black Country Living Museum as a teaching aid and given its relatively short length, it is fairly superficial. But it's very effective in providing a high level overview of the local canal network. If you like, it's a taster on the subjects of the canals of the black country, and it will probably whet your appetite to learn more about the centre of the UK's canal network. In my third selection for this month, I'd like to introduce you to Take to the Boats. With the thrust of the commercial carrying marketing being aimed at the larger waterways, what was the vision for the narrow canals in the early 1960s? Well, this film takes us back to 1962, the same year as the Robert Reed film we opened with. But as you will see, commercial carrying wasn't very high on the agenda. Now at a British Waterways base, a holiday booking made months ago perhaps by mail or at the boat show in London, is about to become a reality, as some of the fleet of higher cruisers are made ready for their visitors. The bases from which these boats may be hired are to be found all over the country, at Birmingham, Nottingham, Leicester and Oxford, at Southall near London, Hillmorton near Rugby, and Middlewich in Cheshire. Although British waterways operate higher cruisers and passenger vessels themselves, there are some 60 private firms running similar craft in all parts of the country. Canal cruisers range from two berth craft for low budget cruising to the four to six berth family boat, having all the amenities of a floating home. This 22 minute video is positioning the small inland waterways as a recreation space, either on self-steer hire craft or on hotel boats. 
This was an era when British waterways were developing their own hire fleet. And this is an unabashed commercial plug for its new leisure business. The boats may have changed over the subsequent 60 years, but in some ways the leisure pitch for the inland waterways as a place to relax remains remarkably unchanged. And to wrap up this episode of Narrowboat Videos, I'm going to take you back to the larger industrial waterways of the 1950s, this time featuring a 1960 British Transport Commission production entitled Broad Waterways. This 12-minute promotional film focuses on the River Trent and is very much a product of its time. It was made after the investments of the 1950s and they included lock enlargement and an extensive dredging programme. A steady approach, a bit of coordination between us and the other crew. And we've got her. It's as quick as that. Being one of the fastest barges on the river, we'll soon begin to catch those who got away first, even with our passenger. This film was made during the dying days of the Commission and it was promoting the Trent as a transport corridor between Hull and Nottingham. It follows the barge Thames and its two-man crew as they make their 100-mile journey upstream. This is a fast, wide stretch of river which runs with history. They say the Yorkists and Lancastrians fought near here. Some of the place names are quite bloodthirsty, like uh, Red Gutter and Dead Man's Field. But it's more peaceful now, and the banks are becoming busier with industry. They're coming up to Home Lock, only two or three miles from Nottingham. They're just ahead of schedule, and the lock keeper's ready for us. Taken with the first video about the Seven Estuary, I think it's fair to say that they show the aspirations of the British Transport Commission to be an integrated transport provider, something it never quite achieved. Within two years of this film being made, the Commission was broken up and the waterway section was passed into the hands of the newly formed British Waterways Board. Well, I hope you enjoyed the films featured in this episode of Narrowboat Videos, which have attempted to take a look at the British inland waterways in the early 1960s. A time when the Beatles were singing Love, Love Me Do in the Cavern Club, but no one seemed to love the canals. Each month we will feature a selection of archive films, so don't forget to click subscribe and like. But in the meantime, happy viewing and I'll see you soon. Cheerio! Mm -hmm.